hello guys welcome back again in this video i'm going to show you how you can customize a spinner like this and this could be a complete step by step guide on spinner customization so just keep watching till the end of this video hi my name is suvajit and i make videos on android app development so guys if you are new in this channel then please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming contents whenever i publish anyway let's jump into the android studio okay so this is an empty project and in this project i have already created an inventory package let's expand it now you can see we have two java classes data and fruit and this is actually a model class which will hold the name of the fruit and the image and in this data class i have created a method called get fruit list so basically this method will return a list of fruits which we are going to show on a spinner all right so first and foremost we are going to add a spinner in our activity main.xml so angle bracket spinner hit tab then layout with match parent then layout height wrap content let's add some margin uh, 16 dp then close the tag let's also give it an id id let's say spinner fruits now let's move on to the main activity dot java and here we will first create our spinner object so private spinner let's say spinner fruits then inside on create method we have to refer the spinner so spinner fruits equal to find view by id r dot id dot spinner fruit okay now we need to create an adapter class so i'm going to right click on the root package then new java class let's name it uh, fruit adapter now we have to extend an adapter class so extends base adapter you can also use recyclable adapter here if you want anyway now press alt enter and implement all the necessary methods now we have to set up this adapter class and just because this is not a designing stuff i'm going to skip this setup however if you want to know more about this base adapter class let me know in the comment section all right i have almost done this adapter setup now we are going to set this adapter on my spinner with this one so now let's create an instance of the fruit adapter class private fruit adapter let's call it adapter then inside on create we will initialize it so adapter equal to new fruit adapter here we have to pass two arguments first one is main activity dot this and this is for the context then data dot get fruit list so basically i am passing a list here finally spinner fruit dot set adapter and pass the adapter variable now let's build the project again and see that our spinner is working or not so i think 
it's working and by default our spinner is selected the avocado fruit let's tap on it here is our rest of the items and as you can see each individual item is containing an image view and a text view now we will set a background and also rotate this icon whenever a user taps on the spinner and shows the pop-up window so let's create a drawable first which will be a layer list but inside a selected tag anyway right click on the drawable the new drawable resource file let's call it bg spinner fruit then ok now angle bracket item then inside this item tag angle bracket again then type layer list now inside this layer list tag we can add multiple items like shapes images or any other drawable files so our first items will be a shape for our background and for that we are going to use item tag something like this then inside this item tag simply type angle bracket shape then android shape rectangle now to set a background color we can use solid tag so angle bracket solid space color at color let's say color accent we can also add some padding so angle bracket padding then android right let's say 12 dp and this is for the right side padding now for the left side android left 12 dp also now close the tag well now if you want to make your background corners little bit rounded you can do so by using corners tag so simply angle back it again then type corners then android radius let's say 4 dp okay now we are going to add another item for a drawable which will be an arrow icon so angle bracket item then android drawable mm, actually we haven't added any icons yet so let's add an icon first so right click on the drawable the new vector asset then make sure you have this clipart option selected but if you want to browse your own icon from your local drive you can go with this option as well anyway for now we'd like to go with this option because android studio already providing us some material icons over here so here let's search for arrow you can see some arrow related icons so i'm going to add this down arrow now here we should provide a meaningful name like i see arrow down then simply click on next then finish now here simply type at drawable i see arrow down we can also align this drawable using gravity attribute android gravity let's say end so this drawable will always be stick to the right side of the spinner anyway let's close the tag now Finally, we have to set this BG spinner fruit as a background. So let's move on to our activity main.xml. Then here in this spinner, we are going to add the background attribute. So background at drawable BG spinner fruit. And that's it. Now let's build the project again to see how much we have done. As you can see guys, our default spinner's background 
has been changed now. But if I click on the spinner, you can see a pop-up window, right? We can also change its background using pop-up background attribute. But before that, uh, you may have noticed that this pop-up window is actually overlapped on top of our spinner layout. So in such cases, we can use drop-down vertical offset in order to fix this. But always remember, whenever you are using drop-down vertical offset, you should specify some value in the layout height attribute. So then only we can understand how much offset should we set. For example, let's set 40 dp in its layout height. Let's add the drop-down vertical offset attribute and here if i pass 40 dp also which means our pop window will just comes below the spinner layout anyway let's build the project again i'm going to click on the spinner yes as you can see this time our pop window is coming just below the spinner perfect Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can rotate this down arrow icon. Basically, we have to listen for pop-up window visibility. And for that, we will create a separate Java class. Then we'll extend with the spinner class. So now I'm going to create a Java class. Let's name it uh, custom spinner. Now extend with app compat spinner by the way guys i have already written an article on this topic i will definitely mention that link in this video description so you must check that out as the reference and as you can see i have already opened up the that article so i'm going to copy this entire custom spinner classes code from here then i will paste here Let's find the error. Oops, this should be ampersand symbol only. So basically in this custom spinner class, we have an interface called on a spinner event listener. And this interface is providing two methods on pop-up window open and on pop-up window close. So now I'm going to use this custom spinner in our activity main.xml. Let's replace this default spinner with custom spinner now let's move on to our main activity dot java and let's add the interface on spinner event listener so implements custom spinner dot on spinner event listener then alt enter implement methods then okay also do this Instead of default spinner, change this to a custom spinner. Then also we have to set the listener. So spinner fruits dot set spinner event listener and pass this. Now we can set different background in these two interface methods. So what I'll do is create a drivable with a up directional arrow uh, similar to this one so i'm going to duplicate this drivable now let's call it bg spinner fruit up then also make sure you have this drivable folder is selected then refactor now we are going to change this icon so right click on the drivable new vector asset i'm going to select this one let's name it ic arrow up
now in our main activity dot java class uh, here pass the drawable so get resources dot get drawable r dot drawable dot bg spinner fruit up now i'm going to copy this line and paste here in this on pop-up window close method then i'll change the drawable bg spinner fruit which is the default one anyway let's build and run the project again let's tap on the spinner as you can see the icon is rotating now actually we are setting a different background and icons for different events on the spinner anyway guys there's still few more things that you can do while customizing a spinner like you can change the background of pop-up window using pop-up background attribute so simply create a drawable file and and then set that so just give it a try also you can highlight your selected item using on item selected listener interface however if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and if you feel this video helped you a little bit hit the like button also do subscribe for more contents like this one so that's all for now guys see you soon in the next one